Hello Facebook, YouTube. Today I want to talk to you about something that's quite interesting. Interesting. Oh, God gave me this revelation. It's just like, you know, the funny thing, I listen to people, and the more I listen to people, I meditate on what they're talking about, and it's like God comes and showed me a metaphor, and it's like, wow, amazing, God. You're amazing character. You know what I'm saying? But the topic of this message, of this metaphor, God showed me that's pretty cool. I hope you think it's pretty cool. That is uh, talking about the reality of tying, reality of tying yourself to balloons or anchors. Tying yourself to balloons or anchors. Now, here's the thing about this cool metaphor. The whole idea object is that, you know, uh, of what this is all about is that, you know, there's positive where people can speak positive to you. People can speak negative to you. People can do something positive to you and they can do something negative to you. But here's the thing that God showed me. Is just a matter of like a person don't realize when somebody has spoken something negative to you or positive to you. They, if somebody, th sorry, uh, the more if somebody give you something positive, they're giving you a balloon. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, when they give you the balloon, you have a choice to either tie it to you to allow that balloon to uh, uplift you. Yeah, uh, the balloons are created to uplift you. But, you know, you uh, either you listen, somebody can say something, do, yeah, I, I should do that. Somebody can do and say something negative to you. You are given a anchor. And guess what? When you're given that anchor, you have the choice to either tie that anchor to you that it can pull you down. And you start feeling down and out. You know how people feel down and out these days, you know? And they're down and out because of what? You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, look, people hand, people give can give you words of encouragement. And you can take all these balloons and a word of encouragement to be a better person, do the better person, and, you know, you can do it. And take them. You can take them. But here's the objective. is the tying situation. Are you going to tie this? Or more likely, are you going to put it in your remembrance? You know what I'm saying? Are you going to remember what they tell you? Are you going to remember of the inspiration they told you? Or uh, are you going to remember of the scripture they gave you concerning God's word? Are you going to remember what the preacher said? Or what somebody said on Facebook? Or that encouraged you and inspired you to, you know, uplift you? That, you know, are you going to tie it to you, mainly your heart? Yes. Is, you know, the thing is, King, you know, King uh, Solomon said it will always be a heart issue. It, men will always struggle with a heart issue. That's what Proverbs 4, 23 is talking about. Keep your heart with all diligence. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And, and whatever you, uh, for out of it, yeah, I was going to keep your heart in all diligence, but out of it. Out of you keeping your heart, that's the key word you need to understand. Out of you keep, because you kept your heart, out of it flows the issues of life. And like I told you, you can have negative issues or positive issues. And in, in this case, you can have, you know what I'm saying, balloons or anchors. Now watch this. It can, there's balloons, plural. You know what I'm saying? And there's anchors, plural. That means... As much negative things that you believe as anchors that you tie yourself to that will cause you to feel down and out. And you see people, you know, that you see people stressed out and 
you know, aggravated about things going on around them. They're just down and out and they feel bad. And they just, you know, uh, the thing is people uh, down and out, you know what I'm saying? That means they got anchors tied, you know what I'm saying, uh, to their heart. And they're worried about certain, yeah, worried. The one of the most popular things people do uh, in their life, they worry about things that, you know, that burden them. That they feel somebody's going through a situation, they're going through a situation, school and work and, you know, the stress of this world system. That they find themselves, when, when watch this, you know, the Bible talks about, you know, when you, uh, when you get saved. It says, I confess with my mouth. And I believe in my heart that, you know, you know, when you believe in your heart, it's one of the most important dynamics you better understand that, you know, really about this, can, whatever you will tie you up to, your belief in your heart. Because what you believe in your heart is what you will start performing. You start performing down and out if you have uh, anchors tied to your heart. You know what I'm saying? You will dragging people, dragging those anchors around you, mad, a, a burden about and concerned about situations and circumstances. You know, you see people dragging. You know, they they're dragging anchors, acting like a dragon. Because when you act like a dragon, you start getting fire breathing. You start going, getting angry at people, arguing at people, saying negative things to people, you know what I'm saying, you become a fire-breathing dragon, anybody know people that do that, <laughs> they, it's the, it's what they're speaking from their anchors, yes, their anchors that they have, the concerns, the burdens that they have tied in their heart, that has them down and out, that they're angry and mad and you know, frustrated that watch this, this is what they need to understand. That they tied on their heart. No people didn't put those anchors on you. They gave you the anchor. That's one of the key thing. They gave you an anchor, but they did not tie the anchor upon your heart. You tied the anchor there. You made this a burden. You made these such things a concern within your heart that people need to understand because everybody think it's everybody's fault that they're angry. No, it's what you what you decide to tie on your heart that's going to uh, make you down and out or uplift you. But the problem is a lot of people that are that have attitudes, bad attitudes, and all that kind of stuff. Anchors. You know, negativity always got some negative say. Anchor. Their anchor is speaking. Their no, the anchors that they have been putting on their heart is speaking out. Irrational. I'm being drugged down. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm performing terrible. I'm mistreating other people. I'm not good to my family and my friends. I'm doing so much negative things. Everything is going bad. And their the problem is they're embrace certain people embracing their anchors. Yes, they're saying that, well, I'm going to keep these anchors, and I'm going to keep smoking and drinking and, you know, uh, mad, you know, to, 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 so, to calm down my anchors. But, you know, the thing is, when it's all done, said and done, those anchors, you added probably more anchors to the situation that people don't realize because th that kind of stuff helps you to ignore for the moment. For the moment, but and also subtracts more energy from your life that you will not able to perform to make better decisions concerning your life that people don't realize when you get involved in it. But thing is, anchors are going to now. Here's the idea I want you to understand that you know everybody's giving you balloons, everybody gives you balloons, everybody gives you balloons, but you're not accepting those balloons because. You're comfortable with your anchors. Yes. Somebody's giving you advice to uplift you. you somebody's trying to help you to look at things in a proper perspective. Somebody's trying to tell you, say, <clears throat> well, somebody's identifying, identifying your anchors. That you're concerned and burdened about this. You're concerned and burdened about that. You're concerned and burdened about that. Now look, what Jesus said, you know what I'm saying? He said, come unto me, all ye that heavy laden. Heavy. 
lady, you know, and I will give you rest. He will give you rest more likely to cut the anchors off your heart. You know what I'm saying? The, the Bible says, cast your cares. Peter said, cast your cares upon him. We're supposed to be casting cares upon him that he will take care of them. And we're supposed to trust in the Lord and believe in our hearts that he will take care of every situation that's going on around. That we should have faith that he will accomplish what he will accomplish. But the thing is, you have to start listening to balloon uh, language. You know what I'm saying? Balloon uh, people that's going to give you balloons and you start listening to balloon music. You know, with words that of encouragement that uplift you to help you to continue to become a better person and make better decisions in your life. That you know, you have to find your surround yourself like the King David put it out there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, your who you surround yourself with is going to determine you know your outcome. Do you dwell in the council of the ungodly? Dwell in the council of the uh, people that's going to give you a lot of anchors? You're going to get weighed down. That's what it is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Psalms 1, 1, you know what I'm saying? That people need to understand. But you need to be around people that are uplifting, and they're uplifting the Lord, you know what I'm saying? But here's the thing about it. You you know, the process of deliverance God taught me about is a matter of identifying, first of all, your problems, your anchors, that you will get the balloons, you will understand that you're going to need more balloons to lift you up. You know what I'm saying? Lift you up that you'll be uplifted. You know what I'm saying? That you will um, be, you know, inspired and encouraged and, and, and to, to continue to function of what you're doing, whether it's school, whether it's uh, being, uh, going to work, whether it's ha having a family, whatever, you know, you are doing. That you need balloons to uplift you, to keep you encouraged, to perform accordingly, to fulfill the purpose of whatever you're doing. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, when you get balloons, balloons, you're not still supposed to keep no anchors. You know, a lot of people try to get a lot of balloons and still keep anchors there. You know, the objective is not you to keep anchors, you know what I'm saying, or trying to, a lot, a lot of people try to get balloons, get inspired to cater to their anchors, no, no, that's not what the balloons are for, the balloons are for to uplift you, that you will cut the anchors, you know what I'm saying, you get rid of the anchors so you can become more uplifted, that you will become, or you will be like David in that same uh, chapter and delight in the Lord. See, you will delight in the Lord. You will be light because of the anchors of the ungodliness is cut off you. You will start to delight in the laws of the Lord and start becoming a better person and help other people get more better. That we need to understand that if we're going to uh, try to accomplish something in life. But, you know, the thing is, if you're going to keep those uh, anchors you're going to live a miserable life. But remember, oh yeah, oh yeah, when you get inspiration, when you get balloons, you, you are responsible of tying those balloons to your heart. No, it's not about just giving the word. No, it's more likely applying or believing your heart or have faith and trust in God to whatever they inspire you to do, to do it. You know what I'm saying? You have to tie, you're responsible of tying those balloons to your heart, you know what I'm saying, you are, because the thing is, the thing about that, uh, what King Solomon is trying to say, keep your heart with all diligence, all of it, out of it, goes to issue of life, you are responsible of what mood you are, because you are a good person, is because you know to tie balloons to your heart, because you are a negative person, is because you used to tie in uh, anchors in your heart. You know what I'm saying? It's you. You're responsible of the mood of the if you have a bad attitude or a good attitude in your life. Nobody's not responsible of you making you happy or nothing. And that's the problem with people. They try to get people, you know, to make them happy and to cater to their anchors 
Y'all know what I'm talking about. They try to get people to have a relationship with them to cater to their anchors to uplift me, uplift me, uplift me. No, it doesn't work like that. You have to have a responsibility to get rid of your anchors out of your heart so you can become a better person in life. People are not responsible of what anchors get inside your heart or balloons get inside your heart. All right, that's the message. I hope we got it to God. Be the glory here and forever in Jesus' name. Amen.